The last U.S. troops have withdrawn from Afghanistan. After trillions of dollars, thousands of lives, it has been a chaotic and tragic end to America's longest war. The movie starts with Jake Gyllenhaal and his team looking for homemade bombs. To do that, they need to talk to the locals, so they need an interpreter. And then Dar Salim steps up. The, the reason why he wanted to be an interpreter is uh, he wants that U.S. visa for him and his pregnant wife. And they're going on this mission, and one of the other Afghani soldiers, he told them they needed to change their route. He said, don't go the way that you were going to go because the rains have washed out that area. Well, as they're going, Dar Salim, he tells Jake Gyllenhaal, the guy's lying. There's no logical reason for Hadi to lead us down this route, unless... Unless what? Unless he's leading us into a trap. There's been no rain in this area. He said, I don't trust this guy. But Jake Gyllenhaal doesn't trust Dar Salim. And then the next thing you see is Dar Salim beating the crap out of this other guy, this other Afghani. He said, he lied to us. There's an ambush down that road. So they check, and it doesn't look like there's anything wrong. They're about to arrest Dar Salim, his name is Ahmed, we should be saying that. And then at the last second... John, you're not gonna like this. What is it? We got a problem. Looks like an ambush. And what happened was the other guy that tried to trick them into going to the ambush, the Taliban had his family. He says they have his family. So in other words, Ahmed proves himself. He's loyal. I got chills in that moment. Like, yeah. oh my God, this guy is something else. Who is this guy? He's smarter than your average guy. So then they go investigate a possible site for IEDs, and that's where everything goes south. All of a sudden, they're just surrounded by Taliban and they're being killed left and right until there's only two left, Jake Gyllenhaal and Ahmed. They made it look like Ahmed abandoned Jake Gyllenhaal because I think he just walked away. They hit Jake Gyllenhaal in the head. He was like passed out almost in a coma. And that's when Ahmed came back. This is when he turns into Jason Bourne. <laughs> <laughs> or he's like Liam Neeson, either. Or John Wick. <laughs> headshot after headshot. Bam, bam, bam. He killed all of them. And they have to somehow escape the Taliban, who are everywhere. And Jake Gyllenhaal is so injured that he can't even stand. And so it becomes this amazing journey of Ahmed doing everything he can to save the life of this American. The locals are like, you have to stay off the roads, they're looking for you. So you have to use the mountain paths. And, and there are many times where you're like, is he really going to do this? I mean, what is he gaining from this? This is what a hero looks like. He could have given up. That journey ended up with them on like a little gas station or a little... It was like a trading post. And then the Taliban inspected the truck. And then when they saw Jake Gyllenhaal and then Dar Salim's like, okay, this is it. More Talibans came, but then the U.S. military came and rescued them. And the next scene, Jake Gyllenhaal is back in America, recovering, and he's the hero. When he's in America, he's like, I don't even remember how I got there. But he knew that Ahmed helped him. He, he did remember that. Uh, and then he said, I'm not the hero. Ahmed is the hero, and he's out there about to be killed because now he has a big bounty on his head. Everyone's looking for him, and Jake Gyllenhaal contacts the U.S. government. I am going to get that man and his family out of the position that we put him in. It's this montage of him being put on hold for hours, trying to get through all the bureaucracy and the red tape. And they keep saying, your, your call is important to us, sir. It's like, yeah, but not really. And it's just him getting frustrated and him yelling at people and cussing them out. You think if I could be shot of this debt, I wouldn't be? That is not how this debt works. It demands a result, not an appeasement. There is a hook in me, one that you cannot see. And then ultimately he decided to do it himself. Jake Gyllenhaal was in a, in a disguise. When Ahmed saw him and you see the, the, the little smile from Ahmed, like... Yeah, he knew in that moment, as soon as he saw Jake Gyllenhaal, like what this meant. And he probably knew that it wasn't easy for him to get to that point either. So, and then you think they're gonna die. They're waiting for their ride to come and it's like they could be killed any second. The Taliban are surrounding them again. They're coming down from the hills. There's so many of them. And then you think it's over. They're not gonna make it. They're gonna die. And then the United States military who I've been pissed off at for the last hour of the movie, they redeem themselves and they just destroy the Taliban. And you're like, thank you. Thank you so much for modern technology. <laughs>
I think the last shot was Jake Gyllenhaal and Ahmed looking at each other and then Jake Gyllenhaal handed the visas then the music you cried then you Paul oh I cried yeah like when Jack died <laughs> I remember Jack I always remember you Jack and then boom flash on the screen the definition of the covenant a promise a commitment oh that's why now I understand what the covenant means hmm And then after that, they show a text that uh, since the U.S. pulled out of Afghanistan, thousands of interpreters and their families and children were murdered by the Taliban. That just broke my heart. It's not just that they that they abandoned all those people, but they left military equipment for the Taliban to just scoop up and use to kill people. We screwed up that exit more than anything we've ever done. That's like when we got out of Vietnam. I like movies like this that kind of give you a glimpse of something that's been forgotten and not in the headlines anymore to help you appreciate, you know, the heroism in those t- difficult circumstances, both local Afghanistan people and also uh, U.S. military people that had to go through a lot. I'm glad Guy Ritchie made this movie. I mean, I would say this is the most significant movie he's ever made. Definitely. Definitely.